Okay, welcome, welcome uh, to our next instalment from the Full Flow Fitness Mythbusters. Uh, this one is on alcohol. As we all know, alcohol has certain detrimental effects on the human body, which are well documented. But this video is going to be more about how it affects your calories and your body composition. The alcohol found in all alcoholic drinks, such as beer, wine and spirits, is called ethanol. It's produced from products like grains, fruits and vegetables via fermentation. Alcohol is made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Now alcohol provides us with a non-essential macronutrient. So unlike your proteins, your carbohydrates and your fats, uh, we don't actually need it. Now your body will use the macronutrients you put inside it in a certain order. Alcohol will be first when consumed. Then your body will use the carbohydrates, then proteins, and then fats will come last. So as alcohol is first in line in that tree, uh, the body will use less of the other calories that you've consumed from your carbs, your proteins, and your fats. Alcohol shuts off fats as being used as energy and will increase the metabolic pathway for the alcohol to be used. Now alcohol, also has its own calorie yield, which will depend on the alcoholic beverage that you consume. So as we've touched on in previous videos, generally dosage is an issue. So if you have a small amount of alcohol, generally not a problem. But then again, if you are partaking what they call binge drinking, where you're consuming large amounts of alcohol in a short period of time, uh, that then becomes a bit of a problem for the body. One of the main issues with alcohol consumption is in fact it lowers your inhibitions. Now this can then lead on to poor decision making. Now this in turn means that you're more likely to overindulge in high calorie foods, such as your classic kebabs, uh, chips after the pub and so forth. Furthermore, your body's satiety signals are inhibited, that along with your perceptions of taste. So consuming high calorie foods along with an insatiable appetite, plus the requirement for pleasurable foods, which are generally low in nutrients, mixing that with the calories from the alcohol can definitely then have the potential to put you into quite a high calorie surplus. So a good strategy, if you have got a, a weekend planned out on the sauce, uh, would definitely try and keep your fats and your carbohydrates to a bit of a low that day. Really invest in some really lean protein like chicken, fish, turkey, and really bump up your veggies as well for that day, because they will again be quite low in calories. So you're generally gonna create a bit of leeway to consume your calories further on in the day while you've been drinking. Another strategy also for that dreaded hangover day is to again pre-cook, so you've got something in the fridge that you can just go and warm up rather than investing in a takeaway. Again, leaning towards that lean protein source and high veggie combination. Thanks again for tuning in to another instalment for the Full Flow Fitness Mythbusters. If you enjoyed the video and there are other topics you'd like us to touch on, please don't hesitate to send us a message through our Facebook page or you can email us through info at fullflowfitness.co.uk. If you want to see the other videos from the selection, again, you can check out the website at www.fullflowfitness.co.